Hello, I'm Monica, the Creative Beast. Thank you so much for stopping by and tuning into my channel today. I am going to be sharing one of the books I made for the Are You Book Enough monthly art book challenge. And I'm very excited to share it with you. It's a sort of three dimensional book form that uh, has some interaction and some really fun elements to it. I knew for the theme of flight that I would be working with butterflies. I didn't realize that in the month of March, when this challenge was taking place, that there would be a butterfly migration happening. And I was really lucky to see the first day of butterfly migration when red paintings were coming through town and they were fluttering through. It looked like a lot of leaves blowing in the wind. And it had in fact been a breezy day, but I noticed that they weren't landing the way leaves usually do. So I was just inspired by seeing those butterflies. I am a big fan of butterflies, our little patio garden here at my home. We try to encourage monarchs and other butterflies to eat the milkweed and other plants that they like and to cocoon. And last year we had a few monarchs that cocooned and emerged from our little patio garden. It was very exciting. So let's go ahead and show you the Book of Flight with Butterflies. I'm really excited. I've had to clip it because like I said, it is a three-dimensional book. I had made the cover and I decided to use deli paper to make these butterflies because I knew that deli paper would be able to handle the watercolor paint without smearing or bleeding or not sticking, as it were. Other participants of the challenge were having problems using vellum, and we, some of us, realized, oh, use deli paper next time. So this is the cover. I also made a few extra little white butterflies and made a little short video uh, when I was presenting my book. And I had them on the table and blew them all away. So let me just try to set this up. So you can see how this book opens. <sighs> it's like real life butterflies. Whee! That's another lovely aspect of using the deli paper is it's light enough that with a light breeze it flutters. It was sturdy enough that when painted, it wouldn't smear. It would actually take the paint and dry. So I made uh, all of these butterflies. So this one, of course, is the monarch. This is a lace wing. This is a swallowtail. This one is the blue sonora. And right now I'm not remembering what this one is, I'm afraid. I was looking at a lot of different butterflies, trying to decide which ones I wanted to use. So, Whee! So just shaking the book a little bit, gets them to flutter, and it looks really fun. And I have been putting this on my, on my shelf where I keep a lot of my art books, so it's sort of a, a sculpture. Three-dimensional sculpture. The butterflies. Yay! <laughs> so that is my book of flight. Share it one more time. Ah. I really enjoyed making this book. I'm a huge butterfly fan, so I had a lot of fun. And I thought about making a small one to uh, give as a gift to a friend of mine who really loves butterflies as well, and I might add different butterflies this next time around. And I usually share all of my creative adventures on Instagram. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe so that you'll receive notifications when I do more videos. I like to do flip throughs of all my art books. I'm going to be doing flip throughs of a lot of my art journals in the future, as well as some of my altered books. And sometimes I do creative chats here where I chat about what it is to be a creative, some of the challenges that we face, and ways that we can work around those challenges. So thank you so much for joining me as I share my book of flight with you. 
I hope you had a lot of fun looking at it. I know I had fun making it. And I'll be back again soon to share some other creative adventures. Thanks so much for being here. I'll see you next time.